Hey, welcome to your collective love reading. Good morning. Happy Monday. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Or for whenever you guys are watching this reading, welcome. All right, what messages do you have for the divine? What messages do you have for the divine, the collective? Please, spirit, when it comes to love and romance, what messages do you have? All right. First card out. I know I'm still stuck in my ways, but I don't know how to fix it either. There is somebody here um, who's really acknowledging the way that they do things. I think that this is somebody who has done things for a period of time. And a lot of times, especially the older we get, the more we kind of become solidified in our ways. And I feel like whoever this person is, I think that there's somebody that has a certain process. This is somebody who, in my opinion, um, is used to doing things a certain way. And for whatever the reasoning is, is you've come forward to them and you've said, you know, hey, you can do it this way, or you've illuminated some type of pathway for this person. And with this person, they see the path, they finally see that something is illuminated here. But at the same point in time, they're so used to doing things the way that they've done them, that it's like you have the angel and the devil on one shoulder, right? Taking that leap of faith, doing something unexpected, breaking a pattern, breaking a level of consistency for this person is something that they're not used to. And I also feel that with this person, it's not that they don't want to change. It's they don't even know where to start. This is somebody that's probably been in a relationship or a situation for a period of time. And it's like they only know what they know. I always give like the analogy of if you're um, if you're somebody who's always lived in the dark and the moment that you have a sense of light, it feels uncomfortable and you don't really know how to go in the sun without getting burned or you don't know how to, you know, navigate through that type of energy. And I get that with this person, they're acknowledging their own flaws. And I think that that's that first step, right? Acknowledging that there's a problem in order to fix it. Now this person is saying, okay, look, I know that I have some type of problem here and I need to work on what to do, but I don't even know where to go. And I think that, believe it or not, I still think that this is a great energy to be in. Wow. Please allow me to love you again. This is somebody that you gave your love to unconditionally. And I feel like with this person, because they were stuck in their ways, because they were stuck in the past, because they did things a certain type of way, um, I feel like they ignored the connection. I feel like there was certain things that this person did to really try to push you away, to try to show you like it's not something it wasn't. When in reality, I feel like with this person, they're worried that they may have pushed you too far because they want to come back around. And I feel like with this person, they want to do things differently. They want to show you that they're different. But I get that at this point, they're really in deep thought with exactly how they get there. I also get that whoever this person is, they're thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about, you know, passionate thoughts with you. Um, this person I feel like is watching everything that you're doing. They may feel like right now they're not the right person, that they have a lot of growing to do or that there's a lot of cleanup in their life that they need to do. But they're hoping that once they're done, once they've completely cleaned house and changed their elevation, they're hoping that you're going to allow them to love them again, that you're going to forgive them for the things that have happened, for the things that they've done. And I feel like with this person, they're really trying to stay positive as possible to attract better outcomes in, in their life. I think that this person is trying to remain hopeful that you and them are gonna be together. I feel like this person is sending you messages telepathically where you know they're letting you know, letting you know, hey, if we're going through something, you know, we can weather any storm. Um, I also feel like with this person, they feel sorry. They hope that you are gonna forgive them and that with their apology, that you know you will release the way that they used to do things and really allow them access to you again because i get that with this person them being stuck in this energy they may have felt trapped 
whether that's a sense of guilt for betraying you and leaving you for some type of karmic situation, whether that's them not being honest with you. I just get that there was a level of karma that had to be resolved with this person. And no matter what you've done or what you've tried to do, this person had to see it on their own. It's, it's kind of like that energy where you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. This person had to learn these lessons on their own time. And I feel like you love this person through and through. Um, and now with this person, the first step, I think, is one, acknowledging that there's an, a problem. And two, it's like they're trying to remain hopeful. They're trying to remain positive that things with you and them are going to come full circle and that they are going to work out. Your eyes and lips are my favorite features. This person looks at your pictures a lot. I think that you amaze them, you know, whether it's your beauty or it's the way that you speak. There's something very enchanting about your energy. It's like this person can look at you and they just see their entire world. This person also feels like the things that you've said to them in the past they're realizing that when you spoke those words that it was genuine and it was sincere it wasn't something fake it wasn't something that you said just to stroke their ego it was something that you really meant and i get that with this person you know they always say that the eyes are the windows of the soul but i really do get with them that when they look into your eyes it's like they're recognizing how much they truly love you they're realizing that you are really the person for them, that, that this is it. And I feel like with this person, they've kept their thoughts for you private. I think that they've kept their thoughts for you relatively um, to themselves, where they may have a hard time expressing it. But I think that this person watches you. I think that they look at your pictures. I think that this person is holding on to you uh, despite whatever problems are going on in their life. For some reason, it's like just being in your energy or just even imagining the two of you guys together, it makes them feel better in the end. I don't know why, but it does. I sometimes don't know how to handle all the love you have for me. See, I think that I think it's this, right? I think that sometimes, and this is just this is just what I know. I think sometimes when you've not been loved correctly, when you have somebody come in and truly love you, it's scary. It takes you back. It 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 it's an uncomfortable feeling. Because it's a feeling where you have to be vulnerable. It's a feeling where, you know, you really do, you know, you really are tested. What will you take? What will you not take, right? And I feel like with this person, I feel like they've tried to push you away and push you away and push you away because they were scared to allow you to get too close. They're scared to allow you to get close enough where you really saw the real them, that you really saw how they really felt, that you really could see. And what's crazy though, is that I really do feel like when you and this person look at each other, despite whatever they're vocalizing, despite whatever their actions are, you can see in their heart what their true soul wants. And I think that's what's so confusing about this connection, right? The twin flame connection, the soulmate connection, the divine. Sometimes I feel like with these connections, it's such a soulful pull, but it's a soulful pull from your higher perspective, your higher self, right? The self of you that already knows the past, the self that's already trying to heal, right? And I get that with this person, you and them have a very divine mission that you're meant to be on. Something that's going to impact the world on a very large scale, where maybe there's a level of healing that the two of you do or the level of healing that the two of you give. Nonetheless, I get that you've loved this person different than anyone else could have loved them because you love them for them. You love the good, you love the bad, you love the ugly. 
whatever it may be because for you that is your person if that's your person and you really truly have a level of unconditional love you love everything about them nothing to you is necessarily a weakness it's just something you have to work on together and i feel like with you you've tried to um really encourage this person when this person is down you don't make them feel worse you encourage them to do better and i think that that's the whole role when it comes to this divine energy is that you're supposed to nurture each other's souls what this person is lacking you have what you're lacking this person has that's what makes us so interchangeable that's what makes this bond very very special and unique between the two of you guys and i think that it's very beautiful for some of you guys, you you haven't spoke to this person or you guys are currently in separation. The time apart has helped me see things from a higher perspective. Again, I think that this person is realizing that they've been stuck in their ways. They're realizing that the way that they used to do things, it wasn't okay. And without your energy, without that sense of love that you're always naturally giving this person, regardless, they're realizing who who is there for them and who isn't right now there's a lot of illuminations that are occurring with people where the materialistic world this 3d type of energy they're realizing it's no longer fulfilling them it's no longer fulfilling their soul purpose it's no longer making them happy whether it's multiple people that they're being with or sleeping with whether it's money whether it's fame whether it's um, you know, pride, whatever it is, this person is realizing that without you, they don't have anything. Without you, it's like it's hard for them to stay positive. Even when you and this person are apart, you can feel their energy, you feel their anxiety, you feel when something is going on. And what's crazy is this person feels you giving that natural loving energy back where you're saying to them, you're fine, you got this, don't stress, don't trip, chocolate chip, you got this. Just breathe. Everything is okay. Fear is just an illusion, an illusion that we give into. Whoever this person is, they miss you a lot. I miss our walks and our talks. This person loves the way that you think. I think at first it was almost kind of like this person is crazy the way that they process things. But I also think that you are a reflection of your own thinking. And the way that you handle life, the way that you handle trials and tribulations, because I'm getting a person right now where with this energy, you've gone through a lot. Whether it's friends that have backstabbed you, whether it's family, whether it's relationships not working out, whether it's, you know, financial issues, whether it's thing after thing after thing. The one thing that I think that you've done beautifully is stay positive and realize that this isn't the end point and realize that there's only something more amazing to, go to come. God's rejection is also God's protection. And those people that are being removed from your life right now, they're meant to be removed because their energy wasn't um, fluid with yours. Oil and water, friendships that dissolved, um, relationships that broke apart, um, family members, you know, you finding out certain things. I just feel overwhelmingly that when it comes to you, you've been through a lot, but yet you've always been very kind and caring to this person and anyone that you've come in contact with. We all have our days, right, where we act a fool, but at the end of the day, I get that the words that you speak to this person, the love that you have for them, the way that you look at them, the way that you encourage them, it means more than I think than you'll ever realize. Because this person thinks about things a lot. They replay your messages over and over and over again. Certain songs that they hear, it reminds you of them. They miss just being around you and your presence. And this person is finally realizing that nobody can replace the chemistry that the two of you have together. 
I don't know why I feel this, but I feel like this person tried to replace you or they tried to make somebody you. It's almost like that um, Build-A-Bear type of thing where, okay, the collective has A, B, C, D, and E. So if this person, I can make them have this. But what they're realizing is that when you have that certain spark, when your souls combine, when your souls touch, when your souls intertwine with one another, that's a connection that you can never break. That's a connection you're never going to have. You may have certain things or they may have certain things that come in that make them feel good at that moment. But as quick as it comes in, it dies just as fast. This person is realizing that your love for them is something that's here for the long haul. And I feel like with this person, they're so used to pretending like you don't mean anything to them. They like to pretend that nothing is bothering them, that they're good, that they're fine, but the reality is they're not. The reality is this person is hoping that you take them back. This person is really taking the time to analyze everything. And I feel like they're trying to get back to who they really are at a core level. See, that's the problem with this person is I feel like this person forgot who they are. I think that they've been living in a sense of ego. They've been living by the words of other people who other people feel that they should be. Whoever's around this person, there are certain people that are very toxic. There are certain people that don't want to see you and this person together. So they try to divert this person's energy. They try to tell this person different things. And for a period of time, this person was very impressionable. But I get that this energy is realizing now with please take me back, the chemistry, it's like they're realizing that they're going to miss out on the best thing that's ever happened to them. They're going to miss out on a blessing from God. They're going to miss out on something that could be very magical and very beautiful and something that you only see, you know, written about in books or movies. And I get like this person probably for a period of time pretended like they were too good for you. They made up excuses as to why it wouldn't work. And now with this person, they're sitting here and they feel foolish. I'm well aware of my behavior towards you and I feel foolish. For some of you guys, they haven't come towards you yet because they're embarrassed by their actions. They're realizing that your energy towards them, it was pure. It was pure white light. You genuinely care for them. You genuinely want to see this person win with or without you. That's something that doesn't happen. And I get that with this person, people that they're dealing with, they only want to see this person win, whether it's family members, whether it's friends, whether it's a karmic, whatever it is, this person is used. This person has been used for their finances. This person has been used for their status, what I can get from this person. But the moment that this person stops following whatever they're saying, the moment that this person starts to think for themselves, the moment that this person says, wait a minute, this doesn't make me happy. I need to work on something different. I need to work on me. Now, all of a sudden, all these people are upset with them. Because they're putting themselves first, they're not putting everybody else first. Because this person doesn't have anything more to give, this person is realizing I'm hollow, I'm empty inside. And they're realizing with you, you didn't ask them for anything. Except their love, their time, their appreciation, their presence, their energy in the sense of, I just want to be around you. And I feel like they feel foolish. They feel foolish for their choices. This is somebody who stays up late at night, who wishes that they did things differently, wish that they loved you. After all this time, for some of you guys, you've been dealing with this for years, 10 plus years, 20 years, you know, however long it may be, even if it's a year, it feels like when you're on this journey, it feels like it is forever. It feels like time stops because your heart is missing that other half. 
and it's hard. And I feel like with this person, they're embarrassed by their actions. But what this person doesn't understand is that if you guys are true twin flames, you've already forgiven this person because you have to forgive yourself. And when you forgive yourself for allowing certain things, you also forgive this person. You realize it had nothing to do with you. It had to do with how this person felt inside, that this person felt like they needed all of these other people, that they needed money, status, whatever, in order to make them whole, instead of realizing that when they put into themselves, they make them themselves whole. And I feel like with this person, they're hoping that you will take them back. They're having a lot of moments of self-reflection here. See, this card saved me from myself. They're in the ocean. You make this person feel things that they've never felt before. And I get that with this person, you know, they're stressed about everything that's going on in their life. Because here's the thing, right? When you break free from these chains that we enslave ourselves in, whether it's a way of thinking, whether it's a way of processing, whatever it is, it becomes stressful. It feels like it's too much, but that's the thing, right? When you're dealing with a devil energy, the only way to break a devil energy is to go to God. It's to go to the light. And I feel like with this person, they're really stressed out about their life. Everything in their life is changing because you've illuminated certain aspects. You've shined or you've shown a light on certain people and said, look, this doesn't match your frequency. This doesn't match your energy. But by having this illumination, by having this, this dark night of the soul type of awakening, it's hard because this person is having to break certain patterns. This person is having to leave certain people behind. This person is having to separate themselves. They're having to do things differently. People in their life don't like it. It's hard for them. They may feel, um, you know, um, monetary losses financial losses at first but what they don't understand is whatever they're losing now they're going to gain tenfold once they're on the right path and I get that with this person they hope that you come in here and that you save them that you nurture them back to health I feel like this person thinks about you a lot and I get overwhelmingly that for a lot of you guys, there's something unexpected coming, whether that's this person reaching out to you, picking up the phone, calling you, saying, hey, I need to talk. For some of you guys, this person has been reaching out to professionals, right? Having help. I have been seeking professionals to help with my internal issues, helping them express themselves, helping them deal with certain childhood traumas, certain things that this person has gone through. I also get to that with this person, whether they're seeing a therapist, whether they're reaching out to friends, there's something with this person where they want to do things different. And I think that this person needed a neutral party, somebody that didn't know you, somebody that doesn't really know them, but that they could really just sit here and explain the situation to this person and ask this person, am I crazy? Is this crazy of me to do this? To change the way that I've been doing things for, you know, 30 plus years, 20 plus years, 50 plus years, whatever it may be. And I feel like with this person, wow, you do something very beautiful for them. You nourish this person's soul. You're good for their body. When, when they see you, they feel good. And remember this unexpected here, right? And I'm going to leave it off with this. Whoever this person is, 
please marry me one sweet day. This person has thought about proposing to you, unexpected. This person has thought about your wedding day, whether it's just the two of you saying, fuck it, let's just go get eloped. Whether it's this person wanting to spend the rest of their life with you. This person, you've shifted this person's thought process. You fed their soul. You've illuminated the darker aspects that they've repressed since a child. You're nurturing it. You're showing them that they can have everything. And with this person, this person wants to move in. This person wants to take things to this next level. And this is something new for this person because they've thought about it. What would it be like to be married to you? What would it be like to live with you, to wake up next to you every morning, to wake up next to you every day? What would that look like? And I feel like with this person, whoever it is, they're manifesting you back in their life. They're manifesting you to accept them. They're manifesting, you know, the unexpected with help from others. There's somebody in this person's corner that's encouraging your relationship outside of you. There's somebody in this person's corner that's saying, I told you that that person loved you. I told you that. I told you that they never gave up on you. I also get though with this person, you staying positive is very important because they have enough negativity and when you stay positive, it allows them to stay positive. I just get that this person really does want to take things to the next level and I feel like they do want to move in. Now, let's get a couple of twin flame messages and you guys will be good to go. I do get overwhelmingly though that there's somebody here that's very jealous of your connection. Um, and it may be somebody on your end or your person's end. There's somebody here that um, your person feels like they need to protect you from or protect your energy from. This is, a re this is a relationship that in my opinion is protected by God or the universe, whoever you believe, whoever you believe in. This is a protected relationship, but I do feel like this person is being given one last chance to make it right. And what they decide to do with it is what they decide to do with it, but I feel like it is a phoenix rising type of energy because this person is finally realizing and recognizing that their ego, that people, places, and things have come in between the two of you. What does this person want to say to the collective? When we're talking, things just come out of my mouth and afterwards, I'm not even sure why I said them. This can go both ways, right? Where this person wants to express certain things, but they repress it, right? Where they have certain things that they want to say to you, but they don't, right? I feel like this person holds out. I also get that with this person, they're really trying hard to figure out exactly what this connection is so that they understand. They've never experienced anything like this before. They've never experienced true love. So for this person, they're trying to understand why this is happening the way that it's happening. And I feel like this person has held back a lot with what they truly want to say to you. I wish I could say what I really feel. Someday I will, but right now I'm afraid to be myself. This person loves you probably more than you can ever imagine, which is why this person has pushed you away because I think that with this person, they're scared to really be honest with you. They're scared that you're going to run away the moment that they really truly tell you how much they love you. But I think it'd be the opposite. Because I feel like you, you, you think this person loves you or you feel that they do. But if you really truly could take a look inside their headspace, inside their heart space, you would really see how much this person you mean to this person. And I feel like this person is finally focusing on their mission and your connection is part of it. They believe that you and them are meant to do good things. 
And I feel like with this person, in the past, it goes back to this energy, right? These feelings, these feelings overwhelm me and I become afraid. Sometimes I even run away from you because of it. Yeah, that's normal though, right? But I feel like this person can't run anymore. Because this person knows that they're going to lose you if they don't come forward and do something. Because you're at the point where you've exhausted all options. For some of you guys, you're already like in a place where it's kind of like that energy shit or get off the pot. We're either doing this or we're not. And if we're not, that's fine. I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. But I have to take time to heal. And I feel like this person, they're tired of running. They're receiving messages through movies and music. They're sending you messages. So pay attention to what you're hearing. Pay attention to what you're seeing. There's something about your eyes that drive this person crazy. When I look into your eyes, I see the universe and it activates me. Whoever this person is attached to, karmic ties, I'm not happy. Karma, behavior, people, or situations is playing a role in what's happening and it's hard for me not to see a way out. There's always a way out. Especially when you give it to God, there's always a way out of everything. Even when you think there's not, I always say, there's always a loophole. Software, there's always a loophole. There's always multiple ways to do things. As long as you're capable of figuring it out, there's always, and you want to figure it out, there's always a way to do it. I get that this person needs you to send them energetic support. I think that this person telepathically, you need to reassure this person that you love them, that you're here for them, that you're meant for them, and that they're strong enough to get through this. See, whoever this person is, there's moments where they go to write you and they stop themselves. They pull back every single time. And they're trying their hardest right now to really leave this comfort zone with this karmic energy. Because this person understands that there is a life purpose here between the two of you. It's really, really beautiful energy. Let's get one more. One more card, please, and then we will close this out. One more card, please, please, Spirit. What is the collective? What do they want to say to the collective? They want to kiss you. Oh, wow, we got two. I wish you could see that we are mirroring each other right now. I'm listening to my higher self. A higher power is guiding me. See, you guys have a lot of support behind the two of you. And this support is pulling you guys together because you're meant to be. You have ancestors and guides that are working together as one. So this is your reading. What I can say to you is union is close. Union is near. Make sure that you stay positive because your energy ultimately is a mirror to this person's energy, especially if you are twin flames. Don't be too hard on yourself. Don't get down. Now's not the time. With that being said, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace.